All right, so what's up everyone? Today we're out here planning on cleaning the interior of the car. So I got a shop vac right here, ready to go. But first I'm gonna tear up all the interior as much as I can, as much as I can get out. You know, all the decomposed, like carpet, whatever I can, whatever I can into that. And before I do that, gotta have safety protection, got my N95 mask, I got some gloves, and because I want to listen to some audio while I'm cleaning up in there, I got these 3M noise canceling headphones. They're pretty much for work, and I vouch for these. I use these for work all the time, and they're pretty good. And also, so I don't get to breathe in my hair, I have a hat. It's just a work hat. There's an old hat. I don't really care about too much. Just put it on, hold my hair, since you know it's my thing now. Yeah, just hold it in and I'll show you around, show you in the car before I get started. Okay, here we go. So, the glass on the door kind of came loose and I just put it in the back. But yeah, this is it. This is the interior with the better camera now. This is the seat. Well, actually, I'm not liking the color. It's like, um,. I would say it's a blue green kind of seat. Not a fan. But I do like how it opens. The first coupe. Well, low top coupe. I mean, low, yeah, low type of car seat. Coupe. It kind of opens wider towards that way. So you have more room here to hop out. But yeah, this was the headliner. Let me put this outside. The roof. Say interior liner. Oh, aftermarket liner. Looks decent. This used to be on the door. I imagine it was like right here. Yeah. As you can tell, there's a lot of leaves, a lot of de decomposed plastic, I think. It's not glass. But yeah, all this has got to get cleaned, taken out, and so follow me on my journey. One more thing before I get started. Let's see if we can get a good view of the, the dash. Just one more time. I figured out what this is. I think this is the turn signal. Well, does it go up and down? I mentioned that earlier. Yep. That's a stick shift. Still empty over there. Nothing much going on. But yeah, just wanted to show that one more time. These, these rear seats were the worst rear seats I've ever had to take out. They have two hooks to where you're supposed to fit like a flathead 
or you know whatever you have to push a little thin pin hook back and up one here and one on the driver's side and once you get those out then you can get the rear seats out however it's it's right here in the middle of the seat and since i'm a solo operator today i really had no one to show me the lights so i was kind of just going in there pushing whatever the heck i could find and hoping i could manage to push it back and straight up oh my god that took me at least like half an hour trying to figure it out and there's barely any videos on youtube to see it uh the closest thing i could find to actually show me how this was how to take it out is is a video on how to remove the rear seats on a Chevelle. So that helped out a lot. So shout out to, to that guy. And I'm going to continue taking that out. Now the top seats, it's another challenge. So wish me luck trying to figure that out now. Alright, it's not gonna get dark, but I wanted to show how these seats, how you take off these seats from the car. So, when they're installed, they, hold on. When they're installed, it's pretty much gonna look like this. This is the bottom portion, and that's the portion that goes up on the lower back. And you're trying to take them off. There's a little hook. Let me see if I can try to hold this. There's this hook right here. That is what you're looking for when you're trying to take out these seats. You get a flathead or something, or a pry bar, and you try to aim for this. Try to aim for this, push it back. Oops, can't do that. One-handed, but yeah. Push this back, and up it goes. And then you can unhook it from the car seat, I mean from the car. Same goes for the other side. It's about, I can't see, uh, it's about eight inches from the edge of the seat. So eight inches closer to the middle on the left side and on the, and also on the right side. Okay. And you can see, well, I took off the other seats, top portion of the seat. Hold up. This is what it's hooked onto, right here. So, remember those the little bar goes through? You gotta push the side of it, push it back, and a little bit up. And then it here. Same thing on the other side. Right there. And, let's see. And this one should come out. This, it's also hooked on the back. But this one should come out easier once you got the first part off, off right here. And same thing on the other side. Yeah, same thing on the other side. But the top of the seat, this is um, uh, not that complicated. So let's imagine this is still back up there. Okay, and for this 69 fastback in line six, I couldn't figure out how the seats come back. Oops, I couldn't figure out how the seats would fall down. So all I saw was that it was uh, screwed down here. So look for that. What I did was try to, was going through the trunk and try to get a ratchet wrench. And I think it's a, what is it? Is that 12? I think it was a 12 mil millimeter socket right here. And this one, and also it's also hooked up here too. That one, I went up through here to the top part. My elbow in and through, and you gotta unbolt them right here. I think that one's a nine millimeter on both sides. See, so get up there, right there, and down here. Two for each bracket. It's a 12 and a nine millimeter, and then this should just come out. Make sure you just loosen them a little bit. Don't actually tell, take them off until you're ready to grab it because it will just fall. Trust me, I did that. But yeah. That's just that trying to figure that out was what took up most of my time. 
I assumed that there'd be like a pull lever or something, but we finally got it out. Well, it's a little dark, but I just wanted you guys to get a look what it looks right now, how it looks right now. Uh, bare bones on the floor pans, right there. It's a little rusty, but we can get rid of that. Swap it out. Let's try to get a wider look. Look at the rear, it's all gone. And that's pretty much it for the day. I think I'll come back tomorrow, take off the dash, see what I can do with that.